of my blog today. I'm going to teach you how to make a Roblox GFX. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you know when I get my next here or just stay smart. And I post every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Alright, let's get started. Make sure you get the low character plugin. If you don't have it, then the low character plugin will be in the link of the description below. When you get it, click on it and then get the character you want to export. I'm going to be Jack and Panda because I'm making a GFX and thought I would record it. So this is my friend's avatar and what you're going to need to do is copy and so I'm going to just select it, control C and control V and get another one here. Oh. So the first one you're going to need, okay? if we're going to want to keep the body, we keep the body and then remove all the accessories like that. So we want to get rid of this, 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 anything with like the magic hat. And as you can see, we're left with the bold, which is clone. So you want to do that, right click, hit export selection, and then go into a folder. I made a personal one called GFX, and I'm going to call it JackX Panda GFX. So it'll save at as a .obj. Make sure it saves at a .obj. Now go on to the other model, but do the exact opposite. Keep all the magic hat and remove the others, like the head and the left arm. When that is done, you should only have accessories, which I have right here. Click on these again, and do the same thing. Export selection, and put in the accessories. I know I spelled that wrong. And then I'm going to put this as Jack X and uh, GFX. Wait, it's all saved. Now, make sure you download Blender, which will be in the link of the description below, and then get the rig, which also will be in the link of the description. When you have that open, it will show up like this. So you hit control, and then a weird button I'll put on the screen right now, and you'll be able to move. Now, what you want to do is select this, go down to here, click X here, click new, and then base color and then you need to change it to image texture hit open and then we're gonna go to GFX I saved it and I'm gonna look for my GFX and uh, probably with this one yes that is the one and then keep doing that for all the other sections of the body Once you have textured everything, it should look like the character without the S accessory. Then go to File, Import, and .obj, and then go under your Accessories, File, and look for this thing. So this one, back at Panda GFX, and it should pop up somewhere up right here. Here we are. Here is his accessory. We can do move, uh, move. Just a quick thing. You can do edit. Operator search and then look up origin and then um, the origin or origin to geometry. Then you can see right here, see right here that in a macro show we can rotate this. This when you have it rotated right, so this is not fully rotated correctly. A little bit more. You can move and quickly put it in the right position. Give me a second. That seems about right from the other one. And 
I'm pretty sure it's like identical. Um, but you might want to just fiddle with it. Um, because it might take a little while, but I think it is fine for right now. And as you can see, it looks like when we export. Now let's do the posing. What you want to do is go to wherever you want to edit. So right here, and then it's on your pose, and you can rotate it. Oh. A little bit complicated, but let's, I'm going to just quickly show you, and I'm going to pose it. That. Can rotate that. Move it like this, and we can bend it. On, yeah, there we go. On, action now. But as you can see, we can bend it, and that's how you bend it. So let me just quickly do it. I think I have it post dice and now what we need to do is do the setting of the rendering so let's head over here and it's gonna be on your site um go on your site goals if you want it to be realistic if you don't want it to be realistic go ahead and do um easy that will everything easy on ya now this little bubble right here shows you what it will look like Rendered and that doesn't look good. We need to add lighting, but also I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do uh, cycles. I am go under light paths, transparency to zero. That should fix the hair. Yeah, there we go. And now what we need to do is do the background. Background. So what we're gonna have to do is go. All the way down here. Go to film, I believe. Right. That should make everything transparent. There we go. Not transparent. Now we need to add add things. So let's get out of the home mode and go back to object. Then we're gonna do add and look for to add a camera. So here's your camera right here, guys. Now, depending on what size you want your camera to be. So, um, I want it to be, uh, a logo, so let's do a thousand by a thousand, that should be good. And then if you just click the number pad zero, I'll take you in, same movement for it. It, it looks good, right? Yeah, I want to have a good angle. So let's, like this, oh yeah, shift makes you go fast. I did not know. Then that that's a pretty good one. Here's your again to exit the camera. There. And we're going to move up here and then we're gonna add some light. Same thing, add some light and look do I like sun. Just so that gives a go ahead and move it and then this will point the light wherever you want it to point. So let me 
point the light at him. We can quickly check here. This is what it would look like. And I think that looked pretty cool, like, like a reflection thing. Now we could also add light and we could do spot right here. I think that just adds the light right there. And then maybe we can strength and then we can do like two. That's good. Not too light. And then I can see. And then that would basically look like, but the. Hair is a bit dark, right? Let's take a look. Let's go to render, render image, and what it looks like. And here we go, guys. This is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty dope. Now, we can do is hit escape. And edit this a little. Because it didn't look the best. Let's go back here and bend this. A little bit more. Let's try it again. And I think I'm going to keep it. But I do image, save as. Yeah. I'll just save. And if we move to our desktop, we have our. So we are now at sketch.io. So what you want to do is click 2019 or any of the other ones like English, Spanish, and all those other ones. Alright guys, so I'm in sketch.io. Let's pull out your GFX here. Mine right here, guys. It looks pretty good. Now we're going to need to get a background so we can make a banner. So I'm going to make a YouTube banner because that's what my friend wants. So we're going to make a YouTube banner, so let's see what the size of a banner is. So this is the size of a banner, so we're going to quickly get our little GFX dude right here. It's going to be like right here, and rotate him a little just to make it look nice. And then get a make a background here, guys, so let's we go here and make a cool background we're gonna make a background by using a gradient however you do my gradient i'm gonna make it orange here um with off of it and then rotate it and size it up so if it dies so here we are so here we are guys think like dope and then what we're gonna need to do not make him fat because he ain't fat and we're gonna do text you like here we are guys, this is the final product, and if you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know when I upload my next premiere. Also, I upload every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern if you just want to know that way. Anyway, guys, that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next tutorial next week, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!